Phase one looks the same for everyone. The same standards for social distancing, staying at home, limiting crowds, outdoor seating at restaurants, and everything else that we laid out 11 days ago. But one thing will be different. Everyone will need to wear a face covering when you're inside at a public place starting this Friday. That's at a store, a barber shop, a restaurant, on public transportation, at a government building, or anywhere where people can congregate in groups. I am taking this step because science increasingly shows us that the virus spreads less easily when everyone is wearing face coverings. There will be a few exceptions. If you're eating or drinking at a restaurant, if you're exercising, if you have a health condition that keeps you from wearing a face covering, or children under the age of 10. Let me speak to you as a doctor. I strongly recommend any child who is three years old or older should wear a face covering to the extent possible. I want to be clear, this is about protecting those around us, especially our workers. And I'll speak more to that in just a minute. Protecting the people around us means face coverings. As I said on Friday, they don't need to be medical grade. Our health care providers need those. You can make your own. You can find a plan on the internet, and all you need is a piece of cloth and some rubber bands. You can all even grab a bandana. I know that even these steps are going to be difficult for some of our most vulnerable populations. Throughout this pandemic, we've seen community groups step up to help out, and I hope that can be the case here. If you're a group that can help provide face coverings to people who don't have them, please consider ways to do that. My administration is working to provide masks to targeted at-risk populations, but every bit helps. This is a matter of public health, and as a result, any enforcement that is needed will be done by our health officials. This is not a criminal matter, and our law enforcement, our police, and our sheriffs will not have a role in enforcing this. I'm not looking for people to get in trouble by not wearing a mask, but I am looking for people to please do the right thing. I'm asking people to respect one another. As I said, wearing face coverings is an important step to protect others, especially our workers. 